Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I wanted to give a quick review of these uh, sailcloth straps that I've got on some of my watches from the man Mr. Sailcloth himself on Instagram. And you can pick these up on his website at iwantastrap.com. Information is on the packaging if you want to choose to purchase one of their sailcloth straps. Now, these are fairly reasonable for the amount of quality you're getting. They're around 40 US dollars, so it's definitely not the most expensive sailcloth strap you can get, but it's also not like your bargain Chinese strap you get from like Alibaba. Now I do want to mention that this is an unsolicited review, and the rationale behind this is I've had enough people ask me on Instagram when I post my pilot watches with these straps, they keep asking like what strap is that? So I figured, you know, if I do a video, I can inform them and see if that's something they want to get as a watch accessory on their timepieces. So I just want to show you the strap itself before I show you uh, how it works or pairs with actual watches. So you can see you get decent hardware on the buckle, some very nice uh, contrast stitching on the sailcloth material here. And when you go to the website, you can actually find uh, different colored stitchings to suit your taste. And uh, you can see that the, uh, the strap itself is actually padded. It's about two and a half millimeters in overall thickness. And uh, it says it's supposed to be comfortable and flexible, but I haven't really broken in any of these straps, even after wearing them for a long period of time. They okay, so first off, uh, here is my Zin 556i with the red seconds hand, which pairs very nicely with this uh, off gray colored contrast stitch sailcloth strap. Now I have to say, I do like uh, sailcloth as a good alternative strap to say like a leather or a rubber band. I think you're getting the uh, quick dry properties you do like you would find on a silicone strap, but you get a little bit more texture, a little bit more character like you would on a leather. Now some of the uh, pros for these straps I would say is one, the version 2, the ones that are currently available, have uh, quick release spring bars on them. So it's very quick to swap in and out of different watch heads. And I do want to mention the stitching itself. It's done very well and it does add just that bit of contrast um, just so you can kind of mix and match um, the design and look of a strap to your specific watch. And the specific texturing on it is uh, quite nice. It's uh, supple to run your fingers across. And I do want to point out that this is not true sailcloth in the sense that it's not sailcloth material like you would find on a spinnaker or an actual sailing boat. Uh, according to the website, this is a nylon embossed sailcloth pattern. But as far as I can tell, it does feel like sailcloth and uh, other watches I've had with uh, real sailcloth. It's quite similar, actually. Now, uh, here's how uh, the uh, pure white stitched sailcloth looks on my Whitby watch company, Avro watch, which again, another uh, Flieger style watch. And because uh, the original strap that came on this was very thick leather and it didn't really break in as well, I find having something a little bit slimmer and again, uh, not afraid to get wet does benefit this particular piece. Now, as far as potential negatives, uh, I do find there's some QC issues on some of uh, these straps. You can see that uh, there's a, a few of the uh, stitches that came a little bit loose for this particular uh, strap. Although of the three that I've purchased, this is the only one that had that issue. Another minor QC issue I found is that for some of the straps, um, the uh, holes where the uh, the pin for the buckle enters in um, aren't really um, sorted out that well. In fact, it was really hard to try and fit the pin of the buckle through the right hole that would fit my wrist on this blue strap here. And then the, the last negative I wanted to point out is that you know, the, the website does claim that this is supposed to have some flex and comfort to it, but for all the straps I've had, um, I do find them a little stiff, and you can just see how they retain, um, you know, the position that they do have the way you wear the, the particular watch on your wrist. 
And uh, this is actually taking a lot of effort to try and um, kind of flex the band here. But perhaps with time, it'll get easier and these the straps will break in a little bit more. But uh, that's enough talk. Let's see how these straps look on the wrist. So here's a quick wrist shot of my Zin 556 on, again, this really nice off gray stitch sailcloth strap. And I do think it pairs quite well. And um, I personally purchased the Zin on its H-Link bracelet, which is one of the best bracelets in the business. But if I'm going for something just a little more lightweight and I can wear for longer periods of time, this sailcloth actually does a pretty good job with that. And here's a quick wrist shot of how the white stitch sailcloth looks paired with a larger Whitby Watch Company Avro Flieger. And I should mention that you can get uh, these straps in uh, two different uh, universal strap sizes. So this is a 22 millimeter lug opening here. And uh, with the Zin, um, you're getting the uh, 20 millimeter version here. Uh, now the blue uh, stitch sailcloth strap that I purchased is also 20 millimeters, and uh, I think it would look pretty good on this Traska Summiteer, although it still is on its factory bracelet. So guys, in closing, that's just a quick overview of the uh, sailcloth straps you can pick up from iwantastrap.com. Uh, some of the highlights of these straps, again, I do like that they have a uh, quick release. The uh, stitching is extremely good and the texture for the uh, nylon here also is very reminiscent of real sailcloth. And these do feel quite durable and uh, they are quick drying so it's a nice alternative if you want uh, a nice strap to pair with a watch like a diver or sports model that you can also get wet. Uh, for future improvements uh, I do wish that they would uh, improve um, how they sort out uh, these holes in the strap just so you can get the buckle through a lot easier. Hopefully uh, they do become a little more supple. I do find them quite stiff right now. But overall guys, I do think they look the part and you can get them to match up quite well with different timepieces as evident uh, on my Instagram page. But if you have experience with these straps uh, or you want more information, uh, just drop a comment in the description of this video. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.